Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you my last two battles ever with featuring my Anger Point Tauros team. I know that's going to make a lot of you sniffly, but it's really about time that I retired this team because frankly, there's only two things that really happen. Either I get Anger Point off and I devastate my opponent with a plus six Tauros, or I get shut down with priority and lose the battle. So. Here, this is kind of an exception to the rule. There's a friend battle against a guy who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. His username was uh, Chukun808. I think he might have a YouTube channel, if so I will post it. Anyway, managed to get off um, the Frost Breath. I was actually really surprised that Mind Shao didn't go for the Fake Out. That's really what you'd expect it to do. Um, but he doesn't, and neither is his Rotom Scarf, so I managed to get off my rock slide. It was a bit surprised that it didn't KO Rotom, but I figured maybe it's a bulkier set, who knows. Um, but I get the double flinch, which is really, really bad hacks, but I'm not going to feel too bad about it uh, for reasons that you will see in a minute. Uh, Snegorochka, my uh, Frostlass, is going to go ahead and get off the Psych Up, so now I have two Pokemon at plus six, and the world is looking very, very good to me. So go for the rock slide, get the double KO. Uh, and Mind Shao and Rotom are dead. So that is excellent, and I am starting off this battle really, really well. Uh, next up, my opponent is going to be Scissor. I'm like, okay, Scissor's going to kill something. Uh, you know, priority bullet punch. And the second Pokemon is Salamence, which I find interesting. Uh, but, okay, so Scissor goes for the bullet punch. Uh, not surprising that it KOs. I never did put a Focus Sash on my Frost Last, even though really would have been a better idea uh, instead of the wide lens. I, I basically, I, Frost Breath doesn't have 100% accuracy, and if Frost Breath failed in any battle, which would happen, I guess, in 1 out of 10 battles, then I'd be seriously screwed. Anyway, his Salamence is actually Scarf. It's a Moxie set, so he goes for the Outrage, uh, KOs, and Outrage is a risky move to use in doubles because you don't get to select your opponent, but in this case, <laughs> you know, he's at plus 1 thanks to Moxie. It's not a bad move. Uh, I send out Sweet D, uh, my uh, Conkledur, who you've never seen nicknamed before. Uh, you might have seen it in one or two random Wi-Fi battles, but never in a friend battle. So here, I present to you with, with Sweet D, uh, named for a character in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, anyway, I get really lucky here that his Outrage hits um, my Escavalier rather than my uh, Conkledor, I keep wanting to call it Repushin because it's so much of a better name, was a little bit surprised that he withdrew Scissor, but works for me. Uh, I get off an Iron Head against Salamence, but it's not like I'm Benz or anything, and um, so I'm not going to get a KO. That's... it is what it is. Um, at plus one attack, plus Guts, Magnazone is dead. There's no question. I mean, this is it's, it's super duper extremely dead. So... Uh, Magnezone is out, and I'm still up, uh, th what, uh, three to two, or four to three? Um, Salamence hits Sweet D, which at the time I thought, oh, that's awesome, because, uh, Gerard, uh, survives, he gets confused, and I'm like, this is just awesome, this is just awesome sauce. Um, the confusion doesn't even matter, because I'm gonna take it out with an Iron Head, so now I am up four to two, and I'm thinking, this is just really, really awesome. Um, the burn is going to take away some health. Actually, it's going to take away a lot of health. Maybe I'd be better off with a Poison Orb. Well, it doesn't matter. I've retired this team anyway. But um, I'm thinking uh, I'm in a pretty good situation. Uh, he's down to his last two Pokemon. Uh, his Scissor goes for the Bullet Punch. I really wish, in retrospect, that um, Outrage had hit my, uh, my Escavalier instead, because I'm pretty sure I could have survived that Bullet Punch had it not been for that prior damage. But oh well. Dragonite gets off a Dragon Dance and is now at plus one attack. Uh, it was a pretty smart move. I mean, it's not like really I could have done anything. Go for the Iron Head. Uh, Iron Head ain't gonna... I mean, with it breaks his multi-scale, which is nice, but beyond that, it really wasn't very useful. Uh, Scissor goes for the Bullet Punch against my my Andy Circus. I'm pretty sure you've seen that Pokemon nickname before. I'm not sure if you've seen a Scavalier nickname before. But anyway, um, Andy Circus, my Sableye, uh, psychs up Dragonite stats, so the plus one speed isn't going to matter, but the plus one attack maybe will mean that I can do some damage. Really, I would have been better off just attacking straight off the bat, but eh, oh well. Uh, Gerard is going to die here. Um, the Akaberry really didn't help it at all. Uh, Akaberry is kind of a crap item, in 
my opinion. But, you know, in VGC, you're, which this team was designed to be allowed in VGC, uh, you are limited to one uh, you, the item causes an effect, so I really couldn't have used like leftovers or anything. So, what evs out now is going to be my Gardevoir. I'm down to my last two Pokemon. We are each down to our last two Pokemon. I trace multi-scale, which is about the best thing ever. Um, go, uh, Dra uh, Dragonite's gonna get hit by that uh, Shadow Sneak, and it's going to la. And Andy Circus now is going to die thanks to another bullet punch. Gardevoir, I really should have just had go for an offensive move. By the way, yeah, multi scale is the only thing that's saving Gardevoir from getting KO'd on this turn. Um, but it's not really going to matter because I made a, made a stupid play and uh, went for the heal pulse. Had I gone for the psychic against Dragonite, I could have gotten the KO. Uh, and it would have been, I would have lost 1-0 um, instead of 2-0, but I was going to lose anyway. So that is the end of the battle. Um, and that's the last friend battle you're going to see with this team. However, I do have one more battle for you with this team, a random Wi-Fi battle, uh, just to kind of end, uh, put this team away on a high note. And so, yeah. So my opponent is going to, my opponent is just a random Wi-Fi opponent, Japanese by the looks of their nicknames that you're you just saw, um, and I, it's also not running that, um, that series of a team, it looks like, you know, not running one of the obvious crazy strategies, and nor does it really look like he has that much type synergy, I mean, he's got a Minin, well, I guess Minin is decent in, um, doubles thanks to, uh, Helping Hand, although there are better Helping Hand Pokemon out there, I mean, plus or minus, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a minus Pokemon, or plus Pokemon, to count uh, to go with minus so minus so I don't really know. Anyway, I take out um, Glaceon on the first turn thanks to uh, plus six from Frost Breath. Uh, his Hydro Pump misses. Bit of lame hacks, but I'm not sorry. It is what it is. Frost Ass is going to go for the Psych Up. Now uh, both of my Pokemon are at plus six and things are looking really really shiny. Go for the Rock Slide, uh, it's going to KO my Lotic, no problem. Umbreon is a bulky bastard though, and it is going to take that hit. Uh, and so here I'm expecting a payback to KO Frostlass. Uh, he goes for the Dark Pulse instead, but foolishly he thought that Tauros was going to be the bigger threat, and uh, really, Dark Pulse was bad. Uh, really you should have payback instead of Dark Pulse, in my opinion. Anyway, go for the plus six Frost. Bite or Ice Fang, rather. Frostbite, haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, that would be an awesome name for an attack, Frostbite. I mean, come on, great pun. Anyway, Return is going to easily KO Minin, and this is a three turn battle and an easy victory for me. So, so long, Anger Point doubles team. I've got a new doubles team in the works, so don't be too sad. You'll get to see it in a few weeks. So long, folks.